What's up, guys? Um, I've been seeing a lot of posts on the Facebook uh, Matterport page about how to back up your, your spaces from your iPad. Um, and I want to show you real quick how, to do, how I do it on a PC, uh, Windows 10, using iExplorer. So let's check it out. All right, so the first thing you're going to want, I suggest, is uh, this is an external hard drive. This one right here is a WD Passport, I believe. It's, it's two terabyte, and so it's, it should be plenty of storage for uh, your Matterport spaces. First thing you're going to want is to have iExplorer downloaded onto your computer. So open that up. Um, and as long as you have plugged in your iPad and um, allowed it to trust uh, your computer, everything should work fine. We'll jump over to the iPad, open up the Capture app. Um, this is I just like to do this so that you can see how many spaces are in are in your capture app so you know what to be looking for in the the jobs folder once you get into it on iExplorer. So once you've got that open, just plug in your iPad and on iExplorer it will pull up your device. Um, go to the apps folder and then capture and under jobs is where you'll find all of these and this is why I like to have the capture app open um, on the iPad so you know what to look for because on mine it's not matching up for some reason so it's showing I have nine uh, nine different jobs in there but there are only six showing on the iPad so I'm not really sure what that's about but um, to figure out which ones are which um, let's plug in the external hard drive so that we know we have a place to save these files all right I'm gonna split screen this so it's a little easier um, I'm going to create a file or a new folder and just name it Matterport Jobs. And I'm going to open up that folder. And then to figure out which jobs you want or which jobs are actually on your iPad, you can open up each folder and scroll to the bottom and there's a the thumbnail. And this thumbnail is the one that is on your iPad right here and it's usually I think it's floor one default by default on the iPad so this one right here is the one I did yesterday is of uh, um, an engineering laboratory that I scanned at the local university um, and so the the thumbnails match up so I know what to name it so in the Matterport jobs folder on my external hard drive I'm gonna make a new folder naming it that so I know if I need to come back to it later, I know exactly which one it is. All right, so to be sure you get the correct folder and all of its data, um, be sure you have it selected over here on the left side. Um, and you can double check, make sure it's the right thumbnail. Um, and click this little export button down here at the bottom. Export directory, choose your external hard drive. Find the folder inside of it. Um, mine's named Matterport Jobs. And then inside that, the name of the, the job, which for mine is engineering, and click OK. And it will begin the export. You see down here where it's copying all these files. And you just let it sit there and, and copy everything until it just stops. And then you can check the file size. And if it's reasonable, like it, I think this one is around 700 something megabytes. Um, then it is backed up. You can delete it from your iPad and then drag it back on. Um, exact same thing. You just if you're putting it back on, you drag it from the external hard drive into the jobs folder, and it's good to go. All right. So the file transfer is complete now. So I'm going to show you the opposite. So if you need to uh, put a job from the external hard drive back into your Matterport Capture app, um, I'll show you that process real quick. I'm going to close out um, these windows. I'm going to jump over to the iPad 
and here's the one that I just um, put on the external hard drive. It's the engineering. So I'm going to delete it. So it is off the iPad out of the capture app. Um, on the computer, I'm going to open back up iExplorer and my um, external hard drive file window. Um, keep I just continue in demo mode. It, it keeps on working. Um, go over to your apps, capture, jobs, and that one that is labeled, let's see, A4 something. A4 B8 is not here anymore, and it's still not on the iPad, you can see. I'm just going to close this, and then... Just drag from the external hard drive over to the jobs um, folder on the iPad through iExplorer, and you'll see it's copying the jobs, copying the files to the jobs folder in the Matterport Capture app. All right, so now the files have transferred back from the external hard drive to the jobs folder in the Matterport Capture app on the iPad. Um, so back on the iPad, I'm going to close out the Matterport Capture app. And then open it back up. And engineering is back on there. Um, you can open it up. And everything, it obviously took a little bit, you can see, but everything loaded up fine. So that's the, the best way that I found to do it if you're needing to back up the, the spaces from your Matterport Capture app on the iPad. All right, guys, um, that is my easiest solution to backing up your Matterport spaces. I hope it helps some, some of you if you've been struggling with it. Um, if you've got any questions, just comment down below, either in the Facebook post or on the, the YouTube video. So uh, I'll catch you guys later.